Hi, this is Tim from uh, Tengid Ting. Thanks for watching. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you what I think is the easy way how to wire an RJ45 connector onto uh, either a Cat5 or Cat6 cable. Um, obviously, there's various videos and instructions already out there, but I find the way I do it is slightly easier. For this, you will need a piece of cable an RJ45 pass-through connector. It must be a pass-through connector. Um, a pass-through connector has, as you'll probably hopefully see on the video, it's got holes where the pins, eight pins are, so that the cable passes straight through. Not the outer sheath, but the inner cables will pass straight through the uh, connector, hence why it's called a pass-through connector. You'd also need a pair of wire snippers. This I'm using the Snipex 7861125 snippers. Um, you also need a cable stripper. I like this one. I'm using the Nipex, and it's the model is 169501. You also need the pass-through connectors, of course, and also you'll need um, a set of wire crimpers and cutters. Uh, this, what this does, is crimps the connector and cuts the cable at the same time. Uh, this one I'm using Klein Tools, and the model number is VDV226. Dash one one zero. I'll put links in the description below where you can purchase all these items from. So the first thing to do is take your wire snippers and strip off about ten centimeters, which is a hundred millimeters or about four inches of cable. So strip the outer sheath off. Throw the outer sheath away and once you've done that you should be left with four pairs of uh, coloured cables. Green and white so just run your fingers and straighten them out so untwist them get them as straight as possible do that for all of the four pairs. There we go. So we have them all untwisted. So there should be eight wires. Then pull out the orange and white as the first cable. Hold the others to the side with your thumb. Take your pass-through connector with the pins facing upwards. As you can see I'm doing it with my right hand so the pins are to my left hand and the hole where the cables go through is to the right. So it will be the bottom pin thread through the orange and white cable and just push it straight through so that it comes straight through out. Push it down, bend it down, stops it, give it some resistance. And the next cable you want to thread in directly next to the orange and white is the orange cable. And the next one it's the green and white. By the way, the uh, wiring diagram I'm using is for T568B, which is what we generally use in the UK. Um, a is slightly different, but you can always print off the uh, diagrams or find these uh, on any search engine on the internet. Uh, so just follow whichever wiring uh, specification you're using. So 
after the green and white we need solid blue so again the next one in line is solid blue with the pins always facing upwards remember after the solid blue you need the blue and white pull that one through the next one is solid green the next one is brown and white and the last one which is at the top is solid brown so just to confirm in order again you should have from with the pins facing upwards and the whole cable feed hole is to the right the pins are to the left in, to the left of my hand so from bottom to top from bottom to top you should have orange and white solid orange get that one and the third one green and white second one is solid blue the next one is blue and white the next one is green the next one is brown and white and the last one at the top is solid brown so once you've pushed all cables through feed the connector onto the outer sheath and push it tightly in then straighten out and pull out any cables and then you can use your wire cutters and trim off most of the excess just leave about a centimeter or about a quarter of an inch sticking out of the connector like so then feed the pass-through RJ45 connector into the Klein tools crimping device push the connector right in make sure that the outer sheath is pushed right into the plug hold it with your hand and crimp and again crimp and that's the connector done and as you can see it's trimmed off the excess cable out of the connector and that's it solid easy thanks for watching